Who took the music on? <laughs> what was that? Is something trying to eat me? Really? Is that easy? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Roach, and this is Subnautica. You probably recognize it. It is a very popular game, but I have not played it before, so this is going to be really interesting. Launch in three, two, Who are right in one. Here? Can I move? Oh no, they're doing this. I'm not doing this. I think someone's meant to be sitting in that seat. Ooh. Oh, good, we had a helmet on, I think. Oh, well, there was a scratch on our helmet, but now it's disappeared. Who took the music on? Oh, it's right mouse button to shoot. That's, uh, that's new. Normally left, isn't it? Why is tapping everything making stuff work? Booting in emergency mode. Old terror. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Cool. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Oh, thanks. What is this? You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal. Okay, it's the same thing. All right. I don't want to hold this. Um, fire extinguisher. Oh, what's this? A nutrient block. Thank you. Thank you. Put that there. What's this? A flare. Another one. Oh, I don't want to do that. What are these? Filtered water. Cool. Thanks very much. A fabricator. Oh, Good. right. So this is for crafting. Cool. Uh... Damage, secondary systems, use repair tool. Do I have a repair tool? I don't have one. Tools. Scanner, repair tool. Silicon rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Alright. So we have to go outside. Get off. Ooh, a stingray type thing. What is that? Whoa, is that? That our ship? The Aurora suffered orbital hey, buddy. failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. We're going in. I don't think this is, uh, this fire extinguisher is going to be any good down here. What's in here? Try to coral something. Coral tube. Hello? Should I not be just swimming around freely like this? i be more careful. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component Oxygen. of the repair tool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna die. I wasn't paying attention, was I? Three. Zero. Are we dead? Are we dead? Oh, I made it just in time. Okay. Let's go in this coral tube. Why do we run out of oxygen so quickly? What's in here? I just picked up a buttload. 
of mushrooms. Not mushrooms, what were they? Were they actually mushrooms? What were they? Oh yeah, an acid mushroom. Purple fungus, acidic flesh. Okay, let's th throw that. And we're gonna get some... What the fudge was that? I did not like that sound. Where's this sulfur? Ah! What was that? Is something trying to eat me? That flare is dying. I think we should get back to the ship. Oxygen. What is this? Can we use this? Is this something? No, it's coral. grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. What just hit me? Recommended. Check in this one. This one's tiny. Ooh. Whoa. That was horrible. Uh, we know where you are. It's that weird limestone. Ooh, titanium. Oxygen. Hold up a second. Okay, we just need some sulfur. Is that thing stuck? Are you friendly? Oh, Jesus, no, you're not friendly. Right, you what I need. Brain, acid. Don't know what you just did. Come on, we want some sulfur. Oxygen. We can hear some kind of music. Come on, get up there. Oh, don't do this. Come on, I was swimming. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. What? Did she just say? They have a fair bit of titanium. There you go. I just hit something very large. I'm kind of worried. Silver based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Salt deposit? I don't know, all kinds of crap now. What the hell was that? Sounded bloody big. Hello? What are you doing? What are you chasing me for? Why are we faster than this thing? Come on. Okay, it's not chasing me anymore. Good. 
the goosebumps can go away. What the hell? Isn't that the thing from Star Wars? Is it a bad idea to go in? Oh, yeah, that's fire. How can it burn us underwater? Thank you. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Okay. Well, it's getting dark again. But I've got to find sulfur. This whole episode is just going to be me being confused about what's going on, what I have to do. Uh, what is this, though? What is it to do? I don't know what that does. Ah! Oh. Right. It's apparently, according to the lady, the silver is in the cave, so... Why am I not finding it? That's titanium. Oh, Jesus. Come here, you bitch. Google how to find cave sulfur. Come at me then. Come at me if you're gonna freaking growl. <laughs> the neck was dramatic. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Uh oh. Really? Is that easy? Secondary systems online. Nice. Full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Is everything fixed? Radio online. Broadcast to emergency distress. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. 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 Hours. Nice. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. I just need some glass now for the, the uh, air tank, right? Ooh, a supply crate. Power cell. New blueprint acquired. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. Okay, I thought my I don't know why I thought my pod was the uh, Aurora. Six, five, four, we want to get on here. Three, two.
Ooh, okay. For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. For my convenience. Fiber mesh and two lead. I think I've got that, haven't I? Oh, I need two. Alright, let's go then, I suppose. We do now. Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. I'm leaving. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Thanks. Um, where am I going? Oh, I, I want to mine some stuff. I need to find some quartz. Now, nah, we're going to go make my high capacity tank first. Hell yeah. New creature discovered 30 seconds. A peeper? Oh. I wonder what the peeper does. Be cool, we could keep those pets in like a little tank. Edible prey fish, high calorie count. Ooh. High capacity tank. Right, we just need to get my titanium from in here. Standard oxygen tank. Uh oh. There you go. Now we've got the high capacity tank. Hells yeah. Pod 3. Oh, there they are. I got them. Loads of stuff in here. This is a gold mine. I'm not gonna pick up any more quartz. Cool as quartz, man. Hey, peepers. Oh, was that that pod? Can I get in? Oh, here you go. There's a hole in the side. So stupid. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh, a compass. New blueprint acquired. So are they dead or what? The hell is that noise? Out of that one, this little glowy dude. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? 
I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. Okay, so they left? I don't know. A Gary fish, that's cool. Oh, flip an egg, it's poison. Also, it appears you need this scanner to complete stuff. I realize you have to wait up there for it to refill. Kind of stupid of me. Where's that bowl? There it is. New blueprint blue grab trap. And a trash can. Oh, am I gonna be able to build all this stuff? That's cool. Oh, please say I get to build like a big base. It's gonna be wicked. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. We Damn clearly need your assistance if we're running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Can't we talk to them? Okay, I think we're ready to pack it up here. I have enjoyed it though. It's been quite fun. This game obviously takes a long time to do a little amount of stuff. Make sure to let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything like really obvious or if I'm not doing something I'm meant to be doing because this is a completely new game for me. I've never seen anyone play it or anything, so please let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell and you'll see when I upload this game again. I think I'm going to play it again another time and upload a second episode for sure. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.